What's up guys, this is your boy Bernardo from the BTN HD and if this is your first time checking me out at this YouTube channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button to get the latest and greatest on Windows 10 how-to videos, tutorials, and tricks and tips and hacks, right? So today is all about removing this guy right here. Now, to do this, there's a registry hack which I will provide for you guys. Uh, I'm going to right click on it and I'm going to go to edit and I want to show you guys what this is doing. Is going to create a D word key called hide people bar uh, within Windows Explorer. Now, if we right click within our start menu and go to run and type in reg edit and press OK, and we're going to click yes on the user account control. And I'm going to bring this guy right here to the bottom because if we navigate to Microsoft and Windows, we're going to see that there isn't a Explorer. You have to right click on it and create a new key. There's no key. Now with this file, I'm gonna again I'm gonna provide this file for you guys so you don't have to worry. I'm gonna close it and I'm gonna double click on it. I'm gonna hit yes. It's gonna say, you know, certain things are going to be added, deleted, or changed. So I'm gonna hit yes and okay. The explorer popped up and the D word uh key popped up as well. But the people thing is still there. So I'm going to close this up. So I'm going to go to start. I'm going to click on my little icon right here to sign out. Because all you need to do is sign out and sign back in. If everything works, our people app is gone from my taskbar. And there it goes. It looks like our people icon has disappeared. How awesome is that? Now to remove it, it's pretty simple. If you want this application back inside your taskbar, you want to right click on start. Go to run, open up your registry editor, click yes for your user account control, and all you have to do is just delete this entire uh, key, just delete it. So that's what I'm going to do, completely delete it. And I am going to sign off. So let's go to start, click on your name, sign out. And let's re-log back in to our machine. And this is if you want it back. Right, and once it logs into your machine, you should have that people application pop up on the taskbar. That's it. Again, guys, I will provide this particular file at the bottom of the video at the description. Just click on it, and it's yours. Modify it. Uh, this will work great for those individuals that are creating a custom image. You could deploy it within SCCM or using MBT, and then you're good to go. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Leave comments right below. Don't forget about hitting that like button. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace out.